Let's now head over to neighboring southern Sudan, where the president, Salva Kiir, last week made an offer to move away from the current 32 estate system and go back to the original 10 states plus three administrative areas. The administrative reform back to the 10 states has long been a vital demand from the opposition leaders in their bid to form a transitional unity government. But will the reform back the original 10 states be enough to garner peace in the continent's youngest state? We spoke to the ambassador, Simon Duku Michael. Let's take a listen. That the decision that was taken on 14 February 2020 is not a sign of defeat, but is a compromise for peace. The president has taken a very strong, bold statement, chip decision to revert to 10 state plus three administrative areas rather than 32 in the interest of peace. Our comrades in the opposition are trying to drag us back to war of which we are not interested. If the issue is state, be it, let's be having the 10 states and the three administrative areas so that we have a government formed within the time frame of the 100 days and thereafter we move forward. Well, the opposition have accepted the 10 states, though with reservation with regards to the three administrative areas. And uh, the three administrative areas is not that uh, a big issue to the government of South Sudan as to the opposition, because the other two were already there, Bibor and Abiy, and now we created Rueng. The question will be, why would the opposition having a reservation with Rueng, when Bibor and Abiy were already in existence. So Rueng has to be added due to the sensitivity between the Dinka of Rueng and the Nuer in Bentiu. So Rueng has to have a special status under the presidency until the decision will be made within 100 days when we form the government, of which the oppositions are 50-50 about it. Precisely, there is an actual plan. As I said, by the 22nd, we would have a new government. And once we have a new government, and within the 100 days, the issue of the repatriation will be discussed. A mechanism will be set in place of when and how to send this, these refugees back home. But it's going to be not compulsory to take everybody that here is we have a government and there is peace let's go home it will be a spontaneous repatriation of the refugees and uh, some ugandans might also be inside the camps you never know so there's supposed to be a registration of the south sudanese to verify who is really a south sudanese mm. refugee because the camps in the west nile it's full of everybody mm. Congolese, Ugandans, and South Sudanese. So we need to verify that. Then within 100 days, we'll see how best to repatriate those who are willing to repatriate home. Definitely, it will be business as usual between Uganda and South Sudan. Even as we speak now, there's businesses progressing between the two countries. from southern Sudan.